Hey everybody, and welcome to IndieFX. My name is Laurent Sparks, and I'm going to be your host. IndieFX is the awesome new web show that teaches you how to do Hollywood-style effects on an independent budget. To kick this awesome new web show off, we're making something from one of the most awesome movies of this summer. We're making a blaster from Guardians of the Galaxy. If you haven't seen it already, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you should definitely go out to get tickets for Guardians of the Galaxy. This movie has some great examples of special and practical effects, one of my favorites being Gamora's makeup. No CGI was used to achieve Gamora's effect. It was purely prosthetics and good makeup jobs. I like this, because not only does it teach us that you don't need big expensive CGI software to make cool alien effects, but it also allows the camera to capture 100% of the actress's performance. But today we're not making sweet alien honeys. Today we're making blasters. There's a lot of cool blasters to choose from in this movie, but one of my personal favorites is Star-Lord's Quad Blaster. Now keep in mind, I'm only using the Quad Blaster as a canvas to go off of. I'm not going to make an exact replica of the Quad Blaster, but rather my rendition of a sci-fi blaster. Now some of you may not have the money to make or buy this gun, but if you stick around till the tip of the day, I'll teach you how to do cool looking blasters for free. Now before we can step into this project, we have to have my good friend Marvin spin the wheel to find out how much money we have to spend on this project. Two old shampoo bottles, these ball launcher gun thingies I got at the dollar store, old foam flooring, scrap wood, a drill, a hot glue gun, a detail knife and sharpie, scissors, black, silver, purple, gold, gray, and a primer spray paint. I didn't have black, but I did have the rest. Indie FX will be right back. Did you know you can make awesome looking sci-fi blasters with an old squirt gun? All you do is give it a flat coat of black and then do the paper crane technique with some silver spray paint. You can get some pretty sweet looking guns on the cheap. You're watching Indie FX. The first thing I did when I was making my sci-fi gun was cut up the shampoo bottles. I used an image I found online of the quad blaster as a reference, but mainly just went from my imagination. The idea here is to make something futuristic and awesome. Let your imagination run wild. The next step in our build is to make the handle. To make the handle, I cut a 4 inch length of scrap wood and started shaping it on the belt sander to get the grooves from my fingers. If you don't have a belt sander, you could easily use a hand sander or even a dremel tool. The next step is to take your wooden handle and secure it to two pieces of scrap wood that are about six inches long. I then took some more scrap wood and created the handguard, and the, for the brace going across, I used uh, some of the... I then cut the ends of the two plastic guns off and glued them to the gun and started building up with the flooring foam. I also used the thin cardboard that came with the plastic guns to make some detail and make some areas of the gun more smooth. Now it's time to paint. I started off by giving everything one coat of primer and then painting the shampoo bottle parts a light gray. I next used some silver spray paint and a paper towel to scrape along the plastic parts to make it look like a brushed steel type look. I then used purple to give the little detail at the beginning of the gun. I repeated the paper towel and uh, brush technique, although with black paint this time. I also used a origami crane, just in case. Um, if you don't know how to make one, that's fine. Probably some crumpled up paper would work as well. I did the same style of paint job for the handle by spray painting it uh, flat black, and then using the paper crane technique with silver spray paint to give it a whole gunmetal effect, and also using the gold spray paint for some detail. The only thing that's left to do after that is assemble it. I used hot glue and just put all my pieces where I wanted them to go. Make sure you use a lot of hot glue because you don't want these pieces falling off. Hey guys and thanks for watching the first episode of Indie FX. If you like this episode, make sure to hit that like box and if you really like what we're doing, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and tune in next week 
when we find out how to do something even more awesome. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it's going to be awesome.